Good afternoon, Pine Forest. Um, happy spring. Today is the first day of spring. So today I have for you a little project you can do with your children. Um, it's a, I've done it with the babies in the infant room, especially um, for, for spring projects, for Mother's Day projects, or just because. Um, so today we are going to be planting some seeds. Um, so I have some zinnia to add some color. Um, and some basil, because who doesn't love basil? Um, and so what I do is I use um, egg cartons. So I have the plastic ones are obviously the better choice. You don't really want to use cardboard or the, the paper ones you can, because especially if like the paper hasn't bleached or um, it's biodegradable, because uh, it can also serve as food for your plants. Um, and so I have a plastic egg container and you can't, let me see what I've poked holes in the bottom. And one of the things that I love about this project for um, infants and toddlers especially is that it's kind of a different sensory project than what we normally do because we normally play with sand and water on the back deck or snow in the winter time um, or ice cubes sometimes in the summer. So this is a, a little bit more exciting um, for the babies and something different because obviously planting soil smells different, it feels different, it looks different. Um, just make sure you are watching them. Obviously, you don't want them to eat plant soil. So, to get started, um, today, just, um, because, just to, like, keep my hands clean while I'm doing this video, I have my own gloves. Um, if you have gardening gloves, you can wear them. Obviously, like, they're, they don't make baby-sized gloves, so it's not totally necessary. Um, but that's what I'm using today. And I have some spoons. These are great for older children if they want to help scoop some soil and put them into your carton um, or into your planter. You can do this directly into a pot or a planter. Um, I'm just doing it this way so I have like a mini greenhouse going so I know basil does best in that kind of environment. And then I have a jar of water. Um, I don't have a watering can so I'm just like making it up as I go along, which is totally fair and easy to do if you have any jars. Um, cups, little paper cups are perfect for younger children, um, for the babies, maybe that's not something they, they do, they obviously they're not going to pour it, um, but you can make a little mud if you would like, um, and they can kind of splat around in some mud, um, that's always fun, who doesn't love getting dirty, especially babies. <laughs> Alright, so to get started, I am opening up the egg carton, and like I said, there's hole, I poked holes in the bottom, um, I use a, we have a, um, like a cooking thermometer, um, that doesn't work anymore, so I just used that before I got, before I threw it away to poke holes in the bottom, after I cleaned it really well. And, um, alright, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna actually use this littler, the smaller spoon. The big spoons are fine if you have bigger blenders, but I'm using the smaller one. These are actually just measuring cups. <laughs> This one's uh, a tablespoon. So, when you have the babies, it's a you can set some out on the table or on the floor wherever you're doing this project, and kind of let them kind of touch it and feel it. What's great about this is that, like, compared to soil that you get from your yard, is that there isn't going to be any like little bugs in it. <laughs> so that makes it a little bit, I think, in my opinion, a little bit safer to play with. So then I just kind of I put. A little scoop into each egg tray or egg, egg carton. I'm just gonna do one side is gonna be zinnias, one side is gonna be basil. I don't really want them to be near each other. Um, not that they don't belong next to each other, but I am uncertain of. There's some flowers, there's certain flowers that don't do well when they are planted in such close quarters to other plants, um, or especially herbs, because sometimes. For some reason, um, some places, especially ones that vine, I don't think zinnias do. I think these ones are pretty straightforward, but um, for growing purposes, you want to give them enough space and sometimes they don't tolerate other plants, um, especially if they grow a little bit bigger and they take away some of their sunlight. Um, plants are a lot like children, <laughs> which, which I realize that sounds ridiculous, but yeah, it works for me. Alright, so, 
So obviously I didn't put my gloves on. Oh well, that's okay. So I have some zinnia um, seeds. Let me just show you what they look like. They almost look like little leaves or like those little um, things that kind of come off of thistles. I don't know if you've ever had them like attached to your pants um, while you're out like in your yards or if they're, you know, they, they my dog used to track them in. So that's what they kind of look like. And you want to, I, I would say, I, I would plant like maybe two in each just in case. I feel like, um, you know, you, maybe one at a time. I don't really know how that would work in case one of them dies off. You don't want to have just like one that never grows. So I'm going to do two. I'm just going to poke them down into the, into the soil. So do the zinnias on this side, basil on the other side. And you don't want to do too much because um, zinnias tend to grow like straight down or in a round. They kind of like fill up whatever space they're going to be in. So they might, um, you don't want it to be too crowded. So for the basil, I've never planted basil before, but here planting from seed is great. It's good. Hopefully they'll actually survive because usually if I buy a basil plant, I either don't do enough or I do too little for it, and they tend to not survive. So the basil seeds are actually super tiny. Um, thank God for selfie sticks. So here's the seeds. They're pretty small. Um, so I'm going to plant a couple or a few in each little space. And um, if you get seeds like from a, a container, they have directions on the back. Um, so these doesn't really say how to plant them, just put them in there. Yeah, they, they don't get, I mean, they get kind of tall. I mean, not really. I think the tallest basil you might see gets about 10 inches tall. So I just put a few seeds in each one. So for the zinnias. I'm just going to take some extra soil and just sprinkle that right on top there. And I'm not going to cut it down too much because I want to make sure I can wet the soil. Same with the basil. I'm not going to do too, too much because they're so tiny anyway, so I'm sure they'll just get covered up on their own. Okay. Okay. So for the egg carton tray, so I have this one that has a lid, and then I just pulled the lid off of another egg carton, um, to, the flat side to have, to actually place underneath the tray, because sometimes, like, you might want to, um, to me it makes sense to keep water, like, on the bottom, some kind of drainage place, but also sometimes, you know, plants grow from... The, the, the ground up so it's good to have something some moisture at the bottom to help keep them happy and hydrated so that's what I do it's easier if you get the um, egg carton trays that have like the double lids so they have like the initial lid that um, it, like just shapes to the top of the eggs whereas this one has like cones in the middle because if you break that piece off and use the top of the tray um, they tend to fit better. These are two totally different egg cartons, so they, uh, I mean, I'm just basically using it as some kind of drainage at the moment. Um, got these little plastic tabs that are kind of bothering me. So I just pull them off the side for now. Okay, so now we have our basil on this side and our zinnia on this side. I'm just going to add a little water. Um, I feel like this is going to be too aggressive. The water is going to go down a little too hard, and I don't want to be a little bit more gentle. So it's not um, fully drowning the plants. So I'm just putting some water on top. And again, this is fun, you know, adding the water to a little soil um, for the babies to touch and feel is always fun. Um, it does get a little sticky. That's when I recommend the gloves for you. If, if you're like me, you don't really want to get your hands dirty. Um, you know, you can, it gets nice and sticky and obviously muddy, which is, which, you know, kids love, love to play in mud. 
maybe not all kids. Um, yep, and then so when you have them all planted and you've had you have them like sufficiently watered, I think these might need some more water. And you just put the lid back on and snap it shut. There's already air that's going to be able to come in and out, so you don't have to worry about like what ventilation is going to look like. And you set your egg cartons in the window. Um, you want to keep them there for quite a few weeks. For the basil, um, for about six weeks. And for the zinnia, I would say probably about the same. They're about four weeks. Um, they could take longer, could take shorter. We don't really, we don't know yet. Um, and then when they're ready, this is when um, the like the cardboard or the paper um, egg cartons come in handy with doing this because then you just, so, you know, the, the four to six weeks are up for your plants. Um, and it depends. Some of them are eight weeks. Like if you do freesia, freesia is eight, eight to ten weeks. Um, you just can pop them out and pop them in your garden if your garden's ready or in a, in a pot if it's, too, if it's still too cold and frosty outside to do that. And that's fun to do with your with your kids too. I mean, one, your children get to go outside and play um, and be in the yard. And two, they also get to help you garden, which is super fun. And I highly recommend um, if you have spoons you don't use that they can, you know, dig. It's um, it is a great um, fine motor practice for infants and toddlers to use a spoon and to dig. And then, and they also get a chance to be a part of your gardening and um, a chance of uh, to do, like, to feed themselves. Like with the, like for example, the basil, we eat basil. Um, we use it in cooking. It's fun for kids to get involved in making their own food. Um, and that's one activity. That's an activity you can definitely do across all the ages. And it's fun and it's pretty easy, like if, especially if you have like the plastic egg cartons or if you have both paper and plastic, um, the plastic ones work best as far as holding them for longer periods of time and for draining purposes. Or if you already have your own like planting kits, um, I know you can get like the, the trays, like the planting trays. Those work fine too. This is just something fun you can do with your, with your kids, um, especially when we're all um, stuck at home and need something to do. Okay, well thank you for watching um, and have a fantastic first day of spring and enjoy being out in the sunshine.